hope you are having a really great week or weekend, whatever time you're watching this video. My name is Andrea, for those of you that might not know, and I just want to say thank you for checking out my channel or welcome back to my channel. Really happy to have you. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have jumped on board and also for all of you who have been with me for a while and just showing love and support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm excited to show you this haul. Um, it's not a really big haul, but there's some really great things in here, especially you want to stick around until the end of this. I'm going to be showing you all the hard candy stuff I got. Um, there's some wet and wild Maybelline stuff mixed in there as well, but you definitely want to stick around to see this. And all right, so let's just get into this haul. The first things I got were some food items and I have uh, specific intentions of something I'm going to be doing and sharing with you guys. So that's why I picked up these items. And the first thing is just some Pillsbury traditional cake mix. And I'm pretty sure that this is a good deal, whether you get it here or your regular grocery store. For a dollar, I'm pretty sure you're not going to find it for much cheaper unless you had a coupon or unless it was on sale. So, great thing if you're needing some cake mix, you know, stop at Dollar Tree and you don't have to go into a big grocery store to pick some up. Um, and I actually got two of these cake mixes. And then if you saw in, was it my 80s Dollar Tree haul or maybe the one before that, um, I found some Starburst Jello in strawberry. Well, this time I found it in the cherry flavor and this makes six half cup servings. So I grabbed, I think just one of those. And then I picked up some of this funnel cake mix. And does it say, it says it makes six funnel cakes. I don't know how big those funnel cake, cakes would be, but that's not bad for a dollar for this mix. I've never tried this brand. It says it's made, I think the brand is called Enticingly Easy. The packaging looks really pretty on it. Oops. <laughs> really pretty on it. But I grabbed two of those. Okay. And something else I found. I've never seen these before. These are apricot halves. And not only have I never seen these before at Dollar Tree, I have never seen canned apricot halves. So let, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen canned apricots and tried them out and what you think. I do like apricots. These are in light syrup and they are 15 ounce cans. And I just grabbed two of those. I've seen a bunch of people hauling these and I was glad to find them. I picked up, I think only three of them because I have some of the hummingbird want solar lights that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So I don't need way too many of these, but these are just so pretty. And if you love sunflowers, of course, you know, who these are just so cute for a dollar and they do tilt. And I like them because they are more of a spotlight style light as opposed to just, you know, the kind you just stick into the planter or the dirt. So, yeah, three of those little guys or girls. And they had some of the LED string lights. Uh, what other ones? I don't remember what the other ones were, but these were the two I wanted they had the butterflies and then the dragonflies, which I love. Both beautiful little creatures. We actually, one of the things that drew us to this house when we were house hunting was um, the previous owner. She had two big metal dragonflies that are drilled right into the front of the house, like on each, either side of the front of the house. And they look so cute and we pretty much knew when we pulled up to the house, you know, Matt was like, that's so you and it is so me. So I had to just grab butterflies and dragonflies for sure. And 
I grabbed a couple more signs. Uh, if this is your first time watching, we have this old military style trailer out in our backyard. Matt has had it for a really long time. He used to use it as a, basically a motorcycle trailer. I mean, totally hillbilly style here. But hey, it works and trailers are expensive. Well, a couple summers ago, we painted it all white to make it look a little better in the yard. And we keep all of our pool stuff in there, all our floaties and things like that. So just to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing in the yard, I thought that I would start putting a bunch of these cute signs all over it so I've been trying to pick up as many of the nautical type of theme signs as I can and I saw this weeks ago at another Dollar Tree and this was before I had the idea to do this so I never got it and I was glad to come across it again because I love anything to do with lighthouses and anchors um, it just for me it always represents a spiritual um, connotations and what Jesus means in our life. He is a lighthouse and he is an anchor. So I was happy to find this one. And then they had this one here, the lighthouse. Just love that so much. And one more. And that is this one here. Just really, really liking this nautical beachy type of stuff they've been having. And then I found these cute little signs here. They're actually picture frames. You can put a couple pictures in there. And I liked this one that said family. Oh, you guys, what did the other one say? I know, I'm sorry. I'm so bad about um, taking footage while I'm in Dollar Tree, but you guys, I don't get to go to Dollar Tree like Monday through Friday during the day when it's nice and quiet and, um, <laughs> you know, I'm either going after work, so around 5 o'clock, busiest time of day, or I'm going like on weekend morning. So it's just so busy at the Dollar Trees around me that I don't feel comfortable walking around and with, you know, with my phone and taking video because... People look at you kind of crazy, and yeah, I'm not trying to stir up any hornet's nests around here, so yeah. Long story short, short story long, there is another one out there, but I don't remember what it said. I wanted the one that said family, and it does have the little easel on the back, so these are really cute for a dollar. And something else, where are you at? Okay, so... They have all this tie-dye making stuff in the crafter square, and I found these DIY cloths, and does it say these are 27.5 by 27.5 in size? Let me open it up so you can get an idea of how big these are. So these are definitely bigger than like a hat, like a scarf. I mean, these are really nice size. So I grabbed two of them because I thought this would be a fun thing to do uh, with Lily. And I've never actually tie-dyed anything, so I didn't want to, like, pay money for t-shirts or anything at this point. I thought for a dollar we can kind of play with it and, you know, get, get the whole um, idea down of how to do it, how to get it how we want it. And so that's why I grabbed two of those. And then they had a bunch of colors of tie-dye dyes. <laughs> so they had it in turquoise. And these are um, 0.16 ounces. It says it's 8P. So inside of here, it does come with um, the dye, a pair of gloves, and some rubber bands. So... I got in turquoise, green, red, purple, yellow, and pink. 
I think they had an orange one too, but I just, I didn't really want the orange. So I, I should have just got it. Why not get one more? But okay. <laughs> so that should be pretty fun thing to do. And, you know, tie-dye has totally come back again right now. So, yeah, really perfect time to start messing with that stuff. Okay, so these nails I was supposed to have in my 80s Dollar Tree video, but I don't know. They got lost in the shuffle. And these, this design here, you guys, it reminds me of the movie Tron. For those of you who... You know, grew up in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. And I've actually had these nails before. These are not a new design at Dollar Tree. I've bought them like a couple years ago. So um, I don't have them anymore. I wore them. I actually really liked them. They're kind of cool looking, different. So I grabbed another pair of those. I literally only found one Mentos air freshener and it was in the cherry these smell really good. I'm hoping that maybe I'll come across some of the other scents. But, yeah, they're really, really fragrant. So, cool. And this was something um, new to me <laughs> at Dollar Tree. And they are these bladder pads. There are 10 of them in here. And they are in a regular size. They're individually wrapped. And you know what? Let's just face it. Um, as we women get older, some of us, when we sneeze, you know, it's just kind of like you want to have something like a panty liner at all times or whatnot. I haven't ever used like these. I just really wanted them to put in the emergency pantry. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Yes, TMI. Uh, they had some of this Colgate uh, Kids toothpaste, and this is not new. I've bought this exact toothpaste before with this packaging with the unicorn, and this is in a mild bubble fruit flavor, but what was new was the size. I wish I would have grabbed the other one just to show you. This one is really big. This is 4.6 ounces, so <laughs> always dropping stuff. Um, so that's why I grabbed it. It was just a larger size. I've never seen it this big, so... Yeah, I wanted to show you guys, and I figure I'll give that to one of my nieces for their kiddos. I thought this was really pretty and really fun, and it's a BPA-free water bottle, and I just like that it looked like a water bottle, and it does have a wide mouth to it, but yeah, they had it in a couple other colors too, but I loved the pink one, of course. And these were on my wish list. I've seen people haul, people were hauling these a while ago, but they finally just showed up at my Dollar Tree. And these are made by House of Steel, and it is a travel travel kit. So it has nail clippers, tweezers, it has a little storage case, and it says on the package that these are TSA approved, so you could have them on carry-on luggage, and you would just be fine, you know, bringing them on an airplane if you're needing to go somewhere with a travel kit of this sort. <laughs> so they're really nice quality. Um, this one's all sealed up. They're like a gunmetal type of color. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. And they just feel like very, very nice quality. I did look up the prices and the prices varied. Like on Walmart.com, they had them for like six or seven dollars. And then I saw on other websites, they had them for fifteen dollars. So either way, six dollars, fifteen dollars to get them for a dollar is really worth it. These would be so great if you were putting together. A gift basket for a man in your life or something to stock up on and drop off to like a homeless shelter things like that this would be really really good thing to have for a dollar and I just grabbed a small bottle of this chalkboard paint this is two fluid ounces 
and I just wanted this to have downstairs with all my crafting stuff. So um, some of the wood crafting stuff that I've bought from Dollar Tree, I wanted to add like chalkboard paint to it and kind of mess around with it and play with it and see what I can come up with. And all right, next bag is, this is another thing. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you have things on your wish list, never give up looking for it because I remember seeing um, seeing people hauling these literally like a couple years ago when my channel was pretty new. All the lemon stuff. And they are just now coming to the Dollar Tree around me. So look at these. They are beautiful. These are so beautiful. They had the dinner plate size. They had the salad dessert plate size, I'll call it. And then they had the glasses. So beautiful. I grabbed two of these size. And I think that's all I grabbed. Oh, and then, of course, the towels and the pot holders. I only grabbed one set because I like using plates like this for um, not as serving plates like for everybody. I'll put if I'm making like a cheese and cracker plate or whatever, I will pull out, you know, the little fancy decor type of plates to use for that type of thing because I certainly did not need another like four piece serving set. I don't have room for it. I just don't. And then something else I saw that I thought would be a really nice serving piece. They have these really nice size glass carafes and I love if I'm doing an all out type of breakfast on the weekend. I like having some fresh orange juice or putting the milk into a carafe like this just to make things look, I don't know, just Lily seems to enjoy when I do things like that and Matt too. It just makes things really aesthetically pleasing. You kind of feel like you're in a restaurant setting. So I grabbed one of these and it's just really pretty. These were, let me show you the bottom. So these are not like a Dollar Tree brand. These came from somewhere. <laughs> so when I say this is really nice quality, it's really nice quality. And I probably, I'll probably regret not picking up another one as I do with a lot of things. But. Okay, you guys, so here is what I've been waiting to show you. I've been hanging on to this stuff for a couple weeks now because I just didn't have the chance to show it to y'all. But here we are. I finally got lucky and found a bunch of hard candy stuff. I know everybody else has been finding it. I feel like except me, but yay. Now I can say I have it too. But <laughs> this is just great, great stuff to find at Dollar Tree. I love when I come across brand name makeup. I love to be able to share it with you guys. I love to share it with my friends and my family, my coworkers, because this is what us Dollar Tree hunters live for, are the moments when you can find these beautiful brand name palettes that you know went for at least $10 regular price, and we got them for a dollar. Yes. Yes, a dollar. And it is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. Yes. So I found these, which are... Again, highlighters, bronzers, it looks like this, you can use like a blush. And then I found the um, hard can A Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And this one, the name of it um, is George DeHuley de Chanvre. You guys, I have no idea who that is, but judging by what it says on the back, as far as the color, the palette is called Smoke Out. It says it's THC and CBD free. Pretty sure this palette was designed to pay homage to 420, probably. But um, 
while some of these colors are not things I would wear on a typical maybe work day, <laughs> they are there are a lot of subtle pretty green colors and some more neutral colors. So to get this whole thing for a dollar is just still such a really, really great find. And yes, yeah, so really excited about that. And I honestly, I grab a lot of them, a lot of them, <laughs> because I'm going to be giving some of these away in giveaways and then in friend mail and to some of my friends and family. And I, I did not clear the shelf when I found this stuff. They had just put it all out and there was a lot of it. So I did not feel bad grabbing what I grabbed. Uh, something else they had were these eyeshadows and this is in the color um, 520 Flirty. And it's just a light, like champagne-y type of eyeshadow and you could probably use this as a highlighter as well and they had these fox boxes one of these is a bronzer and then the other one is a highlighter and I think they're supposed to smell they have these scratch and sniff stickers on here one sticker looks like chocolate the other one is pina colada so I did not open any of these up yet because I'm going to be putting some of this into friend mail. And then I found these glitterazzis. So this stuff here, you could use it um, with your eyeshadow. You could use it um, with your foundation. So it's like a liquid and you would put a few drops in your foundation before you put it on and it's going to give you more of an illuminating effect. I, I've i had stuff like this before. I cannot remember the brand. It was something I had gotten in a boxy charm, but I really love it. Uh, if I know I'm going somewhere for like, say a summer wedding or honestly, I just wear it here. If I know we're hanging out in the backyard, you know, it just makes me feel pretty and girly and cute, but I will put it all over just to have like really sparkly, pretty, um, yeah, type of look. So that's what this stuff is here. And they had some of these plumping serum. Um, this is also hard candy. It's in this purpley type of color. I'm actually wearing uh, another color that I got of this hard candy plumping stuff and I think it works really well I like it and I don't know how well I like this purple but I figured it was worth getting it for a dollar just to try it out okay some more things that I found they had uh, several Milani lipsticks so I grabbed this one here in sweet nectar it's kind of a red type of color and I do like wearing red lipstick a lot and then they had this Maybelline um, it's called coffee addiction a bold high pigment lip color and it's kind of like a hot pinky well not a hot pink it's kind of a pink type of color so thought I would try that out and then I found a bunch of lip liners, a bunch of them. And these are all Maybelline, right? I think, yeah, these are all Maybelline. So they had this one here in plum and rose. I know, don't mind my nails, they look like crap. I have to pop on some falsies. Um, toast which is just like a nude type of color and nude. And then red. So I thought these were really great find for a dollar. Uh, they also had these Hello Halo liquid highlighters. So this is kind of the same principle as these. Uh, you can use them as a highlighter for your face or if you want to use it on your body, whatever you want to do. These are um, Wet n Wild. 
And then this is a this is liquid catsuit shimmer liquid eyeshadow. And I thought that was a really pretty color. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. And then they had this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector. And they had it in this tone here, which is yellow type of tone. And then they had it in a lavender type of tone. And I think that's all the makeup that I found. I guess it felt like I had a lot more. Oh, no, wait. There's one more thing. They had some of this Maybelline New York Shine Shot Lip Gloss. And this is a really nice size lip gloss. I love, I always have to have something on my lips. I hate that feeling of dry lips. So I grabbed a couple of those. And so I'm going to be putting together a couple of makeup giveaways. Uh, definitely in those giveaways will be a set of the palette. And I'm going to go through some of this makeup and some of the other makeup I've gotten recently and just put together some really nice giveaways. So you guys, if you would like to uh, be entered to try and win one of the giveaways, I am going to be announcing the winners Saturday evening. Saturday evening. So you, you have to jump on this quick. Hopefully you see this quick. And just so you know, the rules for my giveaways are you have to be 18 and over. You have to live in the U.S. and you have to be a subscriber. And I would appreciate if you would give this video a like. And yeah, and then what you need to do, so I know you are entering, is just comment down below in the comments, hashtag the trucker's wife loves life. Yes, and then I will pick a couple of winners on Saturdays. I will also be announcing the May subscriber of the month. Yes, I do the subscriber of the month for the previous month because that is when I'm looking, you know, I, I need to look back to see, okay, who's really put in um, that effort to show me they're watching all the videos and just really supporting my channel. And I put together a list of names and then I draw somebody from that list to win a $25 gift card of their choice to either Dollar Tree or Amazon. So yes, yeah, Saturday evening, so today is the third, so the fifth, Saturday the fifth. Uh, make sure that you comment down below, hashtag the trucker's wife loves life before then, and you will have a chance to win definitely a set of these and some other goodies thrown in as well. So that is all I have for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you again so much for taking the time to watch and to show your support. I really, truly appreciate it. If you are somebody who likes watching the try-on hauls, I have a stitch fix that should be here tomorrow. And I did put in another Shein order because I'm really liking some of the pieces I got from there. So be on the lookout out for those and all right you guys that is it until next time as always my beautiful friends stay safe and be blessed bye